Hey guys, 54 New Star, and this is just with a quick edit for part 1 and part 2. Um, since our buying items was, I mean, it was good, but it just came with a couple of um, things that needed to be fixed. So, if you've watched my Doggy Day videos, you've seen where, I c where you have health and all that stuff using a money, not money, but a, a number system. That's what we have here. Um, over here in the corner, we have something called text right here. And so, what basically I forgot to do was I just I just set the item to hey set this number to that instead of actually subtracting it or whatever. We've finally done that. Uh, to actually do that, this you should have like a uh, something that's all that's called system at a hundred to money. Um, Actually, not that. Uh, the, here we go. This text, I was, I kept, you know, putting in parentheses. You, you don't do that. You just say money. And that's the reference. This global number, money. And then you would do that. Uh, so you're gonna do this, right? Where it says number three, line. So about line three of your code, set item to text, set item to money. So you're gonna take. If you have parentheses like I had, just remove it. Or if you had a number, just put money. And then also on line, um, there we go. Line six, set text to money. You're gonna do the same thing over there. So now that we run it, I can literally just collect a hundred. And then here we go. I'm expanding the level. I say, hey, I want to hit. Uh, I'm gonna click my, you know, my uh, Wi-Fi box or whatever. I'm gonna buy something. But hit invisibility. Well, I hit I. I am not invisible. Uh, well, we're, what I'm going to do for the next tutorial is actually do a basic inventory system. So I can say, hey, I want to buy inventory again. And then, okay, so I, I should have two more inventories. Uh, we haven't set that up yet. So what's going to happen is that uh, you're actually going to click that. But when you hit I, you're gonna you, it's going to select the inventory system, which will pause the game, put up a basic pixelated UI system uh, that's gonna say, hey, you have one of these, two of these, four of these, and you click on it, and then you're gonna have a uh, a hotkey button to activate that object. So whatever you've pressed is gonna be the object that you're gonna be using. Unless you have like um, a, a weapon system, or uh, not like, it's like, okay, you have your guns, which is going to be like a one and two, so your pistol, and then whatever, machine gun or shotgun or whatever you're going to use, and then you're going to have your uh, special ability inventory system, so like you have your invisibility, maybe you change your armor type, so you pick up another armor, so you switch from your green basic armor to maybe uh red armor that has a shield on it so you can take more bullets so you basically have 10 seconds of invincibility and then your red armor takes some damage and then you get reverted back to your green armor so that's what we're going to be doing I just wanted to fix that issue because it would cause issues in the future tutorials also guys some of you have been saying hey why don't you build more stuff from scratch um, I, I, I have an issue talking to groups of people or whatever and sometimes that comes over to YouTube and it kind of controls on how I do my tutorials uh, so I've been doing to where I have a finished project and then I build from scratch again but sometimes I'll revert back to the finished project to show what I did some people I wouldn't say didn't like it but they saw some uh, flaws with how uh, what happened uh, how I did it um, I kind of use it as my safety blanket so I don't, you know, go did right during a tutorial because I don't, I like tutorials that get straight to the point, fix the issue, um, but also like tutorials that kind of, they explain everything, they try not to leave anything out that are very detailed but are yes still straight to the point so I'm trying to find a hybrid between these two positions because I don't want to leave you for five minutes with me breathing into your ears or just ultra silent while you see my mouse clicking around and me saying um well it should have worked I like something that says okay this does work this is what's gonna fix and this is how it's gonna you know be in the end um, 
for those who've critiqued me, thank you. Um, my videos on the Sakara uh, YouTube channel have gotten critiqued quite a bit, and um, it's kind of was the first time that I've actually done a driving-based tutorial game. I'm kind of sorry if you guys didn't enjoy that or liked it. I know some of you guys enjoyed it on my channel. Um, I, w I, I wasn't told when they would actually be posted on the website or else I would have actually done um, you answer the question, I would answer it. I would literally watch uh, those videos. But now that I am aware that they have posted my videos, I'm also going to be monitoring a Sakara YouTube channel to make sure that I answer all of their questions too. Um, also, do note, guys, that as some of you may know, I'm doing a lot of stuff. So sometimes, you know, how I do something on YouTube it allows me to create the video in a way that's going to answer your questions, but in a timely manner that so that I can have free time to do. Like like some of you may know, I'm in college getting um, another degree, or I am working my job. So um, I will build more f stuff from scratch. Some of you guys, guys said, why don't you use um, the sprite sheets? Sprite sheets are nice. Um, I prefer using GIFs or uh, you know, actually cut out images. I am actually I have actually found. Um, some editing software to cut up sprite sheets into individual images that are correct size to use those as individual images, load them in, and there we go. I find those a whole lot easier. I've used um, sprite sheets in uh, co uh, Construct 2, but I I'm not really used to, nor do I really like. Uh, sprite sheets. Uh, the whole sheet is awesome. You cut it up, you have individual images. That's how I kind of work at it. Call it inefficient, but that's how I work. Um, sorry about that. So I I'll try to do those, like a Mario clone or something like that. I'll actually do it with this. Um, sadly, the artist for this little green guy has moved a lot of his stuff over to Unity, so I'm going to have to actually buy some stuff, which I have no problem supporting the artist. Um, but that also says, hey, you know, some other tutorials may have to wait because I'm funding this tutorial project over this tutorial project. Um, also, I've been working on some 3D tutorials, and I have also been uh, helping some devs build, uh, not build their engine, but critique their engine. So I'm doing that actually currently with three engines. Uh, one of them is Spark, so you go to spark.tools, or you go to the Spark engine, and they should have a website. Um, and then I'm doing two more. One is called, I think it's called Forge, uh, a Japanese engine. It's really awesome, but it, 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 it takes a lot of, you know, you get edit stuff. You have to, you know, you don't have to edit code, but when you do have an error, it'll pop up a string of light of code like in Unity saying error here, and then you have to basically find that, copy it, uh, basically write a sort short summary, email it to them, and then they'll send you stuff to fix the issue. So that takes a lot, and then working on an, uh, another engine that um, I may drop. I don't particularly like it. It's for like Game Boy stuff, so it's like an indie developer stuff for the original Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and 2D DS stuff. So, kind of was interested a while back, kind of continuing helping, but not really interested in it. Um, so, sorry guys for like, you know, I wouldn't say angering you, but you know, not doing precise doing an epic job like you know like you thought I would um, I'm still trying to fix that and all that stuff and I uh, hopefully this bug uh, not this bug but you know this edit will help you when we continue on our side scrolling shooter game so until next time guys I will see you all later